and welcome to a new video in a new DIY series. Excuse the weird angle and the weird lighting. Um, I'm standing in our laundry because that is the room that we are next going to be renovating. The date for me today is Sunday the 12th of May. We've been thinking about this renovation for the last couple of weeks since we've been back from our honeymoon, but today is the day that we're actually going to start doing stuff in the room. The main reason that we are kicking this DIY off right now is because we have recently bought a dryer. At the moment we just have a washing machine and we have like outdoor clothesline and indoor clothes rack that we use to dry our clothes. But for those of you that don't know, my husband Nick, it still feels really weird to say that, um, Nick works six days a week. He works in construction so he works outside so really he only has like one day in the weekend to make sure all of his clothes are washed and clean for the next week and especially in the winter if it's like cold and rainy it doesn't give us much time to dry his clothes so we figured we may as well invest in a dryer because i'm pretty sure it will come in handy for a lot of different things anyway but the only problem is it doesn't fit in the configuration of our current laundry. This is what our current laundry looks like. We'll give you a little bit of an overview. Yes, I know at the moment we don't actually have a door handle because when we came back from our honeymoon, we had this door shut because we just shut all the doors in the house um, and we couldn't get this door open. So we had to take the door handle off so we could open the door. Um, but anyway, this is what our laundry looks like. So we have this sink, which is actually something we installed when we were doing up our bathroom. We used to have this really like gross, rusty old sink that didn't have any storage in it. So while we we're doing up the bathroom, we got our plumber to install this Kiwi tub, which also is a really nice tub and then also has heaps of storage underneath, which is perfect. So then we have a washing machine. We just have this Kmart thing, which at the moment is housing all of our washing. And this here, you can see, is a hole where the previous owners used to have a dryer so that is like the vent to go outside so eventually our new dryer will go here we've got a little bit of storage just here which just holds like our washing powder and our pegs but we do plan on building like more cabinetry up here which will hold all of our washing baskets so we can get rid of this it will hold our clothes racks and yeah just like stuff like that that goes in the laundry then on the other side of our laundry we have this big cabinet which when we didn't have the storage in the sink was super handy because it could house all of like our cleaning products and stuff but now that we have that the only thing that's really in this cupboard is like our recycling bags and then Subi's cat food which we can definitely find new places for so we are going to remove this cupboard and repurpose it in our garage and then that will just give us a bit more storage over there. Behind the door we just have a step ladder and then like some mops and stuff that we can definitely find a new place for and yeah I definitely want to move the vacuum cleaner because at the moment where it is you can't really open this drawer fully which is slightly annoying unless you take the vacuum cleaner off. Um, and then there's Subi's food which will hopefully be able to sit here once we move that cupboard out the way. We're also going to change the floor in the laundry which also is the same floor as in the kitchen. We're going to change it to like a nice wood floor and get rid of the vinyl that's in here as well. But luckily the flooring that we're looking at uh, we don't even need to like rip up the current flooring which is going to save us a lot of time in the DIY process. Um, the one thing that we do need to do which is what we're going to get started on today is getting rid of the wallpaper because for whatever reason the laundry is covered in wallpaper. It is now Saturday the 18th of May and there has been, let me take this club off, there's been a bit of development since the last time that I spoke to you guys. Um, basically I was trying to take off that wallpaper and as you saw it just was not wor working. In all the other rooms that we've done the wallpaper has either come off like super satisfyingly like with one big pull or like even if it's taken a little bit like eventually you've been able to get it off but I don't even know if this really picks up the texture but in this laundry there is like the original drywall or the jib board there is like the original wallpaper and then there's a couple of layers of paint which as you can see here maybe like it's basically just coming off in all a bunch of chips and it's taking like forever to take off so we actually just decided well I just decided to take the wall down because that was just a lot easier um and as you can see here as well like this is the actual wall and it's in such bad condition that um it just would have been like a nightmare to try and like skim coat as well because we would have had to do like a really good job so taking the wall down was just a lot easier it's going to save us a lot of time and also um even like time plastering as well because we're not going to have to do the whole room so even though it's a little bit more money to put up new jib board um at least this way we can like insulate the walls a little bit more so that the laundry is a bit more soundproof and it'll just like 
be better overall. So cue the montage of me taking down the walls. Today is Tuesday the 28th of May, it's just gone 7.30 at night and tonight we are going to do the first coat of actual paint on our laundry. Okay, it is Sunday the 2nd of June, which is crazy in itself that it's already June, um, but Nick and I have just laid the underlay in the laundry and also for the rest of the house as well. Um, but I'm doing another video about that section of the house. Um, we've just had some lunch and now we are going to start laying down the flooring, which is very exciting. Subi's food has been sitting here while we were doing the floor. I just put it back and she's very confused as to where it's gone. Just laid her food all out for her. And I see she's still sitting over there. Mate, your food's back in here now. Come on. It is the evening of Sunday the 16th of June and we've made a little bit more progress on the laundry which I'm really excited. I'm only going to show you uh, this much of a sneak peek because I do plan at the end of this video on doing like a proper laundry tour. So that's all you get to see but it's looking very exciting and I'm so excited to have like a proper laundry. <laughs> finished it this morning and I was so excited to show you guys which I know is partly lame on my part but I just think it looks so cool and it's so much more functional than the last space I just really wanted to like do the tour already so yeah if you guys remember here there used to be like this big cabinet which we didn't really need because we didn't have enough stuff to put it in it kind of like made the room feel quite small so now we have like so much more room we've put our vacuum cleaner over here behind the door we have things like mops um, and like dust buses and stuff hanging up on the wall we also have this lovely macrame macrame, I'm not really too sure how you say it, um, all hanging that my best friend Hannah got me for my birthday this year and I didn't really know where I wanted it to go but I feel like now we've finished the laundry it adds a lot of like softness to the space. Over here we still have our sink that we got our plumber to install when we did our bathroom um, a while ago. We've added this little bit of a bench top so now like if we ever need to do any folding or whatever we actually have a bit of bench space to work with which is really cool. Uh, Nick also did the tiles back here which I thought looked really awesome they're the same ones that we have in our bathroom above our mirror but I just think it adds like a really cool feature um and we just have our washing machine we have our new dryer we custom built this cabinetry because we couldn't find anything that was to the dimensions that we needed this dryer that we have is like 600 wide and all of the cabinetry that we found was also 600 wide so Nick built this whole cabinet which I think is really awesome the way we've done it we have our washing baskets down here and then we have space for like our clothing racks and stuff and then just like buckets and pegs and other stuff up the top there but I think this works really well because if the next owners who buy this house say like don't have a dryer or whatever they can use this space in the cabinet for something else as well like they can add in more shelves or whatever so yeah I just think that looks really cool um and it's pretty functional as well. Lastly we added this wooden dowel up here for hanging stuff as well. We've been trying to add little bits of wood around the house just because I think it adds like a nice like natural texture um but I don't really like to iron. I feel like it's a bit of a waste of time and I don't need to have like crisp office shirts or whatever so whenever I wash any of my t-shirts and things I just hang them on a hanger and leave them to dry 
the way that they're gonna sit so having this is really handy because it means like I can just hang stuff in here if I do any hand washing and it's like raining outside I can hang stuff in here and it can just drip into the sink which is pretty handy um, and then just to give us a little bit more storage we added this shelf up here which currently has Subi's cat food on it and then this little cacti in this pot that I painted um, in one of my daily vlogs a while ago and then we have our laundry powder down here and that's kind of it everything else in terms of like our cleaning supplies the rest of our washing supplies and things are all in this cabinet right here and then everything else like although it's storage it actually has like a functional purpose as well so I think even though like we've added this big cabinet which at first I was worried was going to make the space feel quite small I think we've been quite smart with the space that we've had and we've made it like everything so much more space than we had in here before even though it's the exact same sized room I know it's like a super adult and kind of lame thing to get excited about having like a proper laundry but I've never had one before and it's just nice to know that we're going to have like a functional space now to do our laundry and hopefully whoever buys this house next is also going to feel like this space is functional for them or their family or like whoever they are that is going to be it for this video I hope you like the process of showing like the DIY from start to finish rather than just like updating you as the weeks go by in my weekly vlogs let me know what you think down below um, I've actually already started on the next DIY as well I kind of have a little bit of an addiction where like I just have to keep going and keep DIYing so more DIY videos will be coming soon um, yeah let me know if you have any questions about this DIY process uh, and that's about it so I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later on bye